you spawn, jump out and kill me in the back of the head. I wonder. That is going to be the race. But since I do not have food, what I'm going to do is drag that stupid werewolf over here, hang you, and run with the werewolf behind me. So that uh, I don't I understand. Feel more threatened. I don't understand. <laughs> so I feel more threatened because you ain't obviously enough to do it. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. I'm just waiting. I'm this is terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no. What happened? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. You had to check out your flag. The South will fall, motherfucker. That's what's going to happen. South fell. Stay down. And like, and like Uncle Sam come over to the South and says, Stay down, motherfucker. Stay down. I don't want to beat you again, but I will. I'll do oh, it. Oh, no. You stand back. Oh, no. That's what we like about the South. If it wasn't for the South, we wouldn't have no heart left in this country. Boy, I want you to recognize that. The fucking urban inner cities has done went fucking nuts. You want to hide it from a nigga? Hide it in a book. They don't like reading. They don't like literacy. They don't like fucking knowing shit. They like sitting around being lazy in the urban inner cities. And they even rap about it. I'll shoot you because I don't like to read. I don't want to make spaceships to go to outer space and take... <laughs> we ain't all about the welfare yet. The way I see welfare is every single human being in this country should have it. Period. Giving billions to Muslims across the world. Fuck that shit. Giving billions to Chinese red communist sons of bitches. Everybody in this country could be well fed. Well taken care of. But no, we got to feed everybody else. And fuck you. You got to get to work, boy. You got to work like a nigga slave on a plantation. Plantation nigga slave. Don't even get me started about what we should do about education. Dumb fucking Fox News host like, well, who's going to pay for it? Who's going to pay for it? I figure the same motherfucker's going to pay for it when Obamacare had right. That's right. That's the thing. Obamacare want to fucking say, hey, I'll look up your ass for free. I'll look right up your ass for free. I'll look out your ass and pick out your ass and fuck it up there and, and, and experiment on you like a rat. Find out what's really making you tick. Now, we come to the moment. Who starves to death? Can you hear me growling? All oh, them terrorists is the worst. They are a plague on humanity. You can hear the growling in my stomach? I'm almost dead. You will be here by yourself until <laughs> you starve to death. I know, listen, the Bible says there's a lake of fire coming. The Bible also says that the Christians will judge the world. So let's start adding this shit up. Calculate. Judge the world, lake of fire. Judge the world, lake of fire. Judge the world, lake of fire. Get it? You get it? Do you understand what I am putting you in mind of? Lake of Fire is the first death. You know, be thrown into Hades. And that's the second death. Oh, well. God has a special end of days mission for the Jew. The worthless, well, don't say worthless. The dumb, evil, backsliding, motherfucking, ignorant, goddamn Jew. Jesus Christ has a certain place in his heart for him. He's going to save about a billion of them. In the last day, he will save them. Every one of them will go. He is the Lord. He is our King. And we love him. Every last one of them. Oh, oh, oh. Bruce Jenner, I 
would rather never speak of his name again. That'll be the last time. That's what I feel about that. Don't be killing babies. Fucking kill a baby. Now, I can't stop you from killing a baby. But I can stop a goddamn doctor from killing a baby. That's what I can tell you. We can stop that shit. I can't stop you from going and ripping out your fucking guts because you're a whore. I can't stop that. But I can stop a fuck goddamn doctor from doing it. Well, here's the thing about that. The Bible clearly states that that kind of a man should be put out and destroyed. Now, as where we're taught not to cast stones and to take confession, we're in a conundrum, but not too big of a conundrum. When you take that confession and you hear what he has done, you see, you are forgiven, my son. Now, I will be handing you over to the police. Here is the police, and when they are done with you, Yeah. Well, you are in for a treat. Now, as no one showed up for my hanging, you will be spectated by all, unless you starve to death. You are in, <laughs> you're in no, you're in no kind of position to be asking for anything. None. And this is, I'm going to starve to death before I pull that lever, and that's, and then I'll run back over here and grab your shit and go sit in my chair. It'll be cool. There'll be two dead bodies here. And then, yep, I'll be dead in about 45 seconds. So you can relax. Unless I end up at my other houses, like if it's not my turn over here, I won't be back for two minutes. Should this I should is terrible. have a bed left over, over there? Hey, are oh, you no. controlling what that says? What or happened? Is it just random. Uh, I, don't understand. I don't understand. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. Oh no! What happened? Uh, I don't understand. It's probably saying that my brother says he just woke up because it's it's saying that this is terrible a lot more because you're on a news. That makes sense. What happened? Oh no! What happened? What happened? Uh, I don't understand. Well, you know what I should probably go do right now because you broke my flag that one time. Remember that little flag you broke underneath Ellie Mays? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I got your attention. I should probably walk right over around there and hit that thing with about a hundred ballista bullets. I should probably knock it right out. Probably knock it out with one or two of them. Then you could watch it. 
<laughs> yeah, you did it to me, man. I had to put, I had to defend my side from my neighbor. From my neighbor. Can you believe that shit? From my neighbor. I had to protect it from my <laughs> Hey, I know it takes a lot of work to make them goddamn signs. They're not easy. They're not easy to come by. I will be seeing you in another life. If I don't make it, my son, Rath Cragen, whose father's Rath Cragen and son will be Rath Cragen, shall emerge to collect your materials. Unless the fucking wolf gets them. Then it'll be three goes before I get back here. I am about dead and, uh... Terrible. All right. Now we're down to it. I know I have timed you that you should be about starved to death, too, or at least getting into the red. Now that I believe you're probably yellow in the belly. So, what we're going to do for this segment since I can't keep you here much I can't hold your attention much longer no matter what I do I'm gonna I should drag you somewhere much more fun huh where would that be man I never did build my fucking room over here I'm gonna build my room but I don't have time before you die so Oh, I need you to swear there will be no retaliation for this. As this squares us up for previous events that have happened. Well, I don't care. Hey, look, when you are sentenced to death, we do not care if you starve, hang, or drown. Very slowly and boringly, Lee, ain't ya? Anyone's back here, what anyone's back here? <laughs> 